Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Yes, you get an opening cinematic for each and every single enemy in this game. There's about like eight of them, so be prepared. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, yes. your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well... According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You're the one. Who needs healing? Why don't you go up there? You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that Sun voice jellyfish change. jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Ew. Anyway, um, you're confined to the game's area, and if you try to go outside, this happens. Yeah, he, he gets pulled off screen by a hand and put back to the last checkpoint. Which is a little creepy, but whatever. Also happens for other people, but less frequently, I guess. I don't know. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Well, that's good. That means less swimming levels. Actually, no swimming levels. Yay! By the way, Sandy can't fall in the goo either. Yes, you get to play as Sandy. But, um... Many levels don't feature Sandy near goo, so... Yeah. Anyway, these are teleport boxes. They work as in, like, you walk near them, you open them up. Then you walk to the other one, you open that one up, and you can transport between the two. Destroying robots also get you shiny things. Apparently they are made out of shiny things. I don't know how that works, but whatever. There's gotta be a secret here if I have to jump on those tiki's. Nope, just an extra pair of underwear. Oh, come on. Break the freaking tiki's. Yeah, as you can see, I got like an ultra combo and then shiny things come out of nowhere. Convenient. No! It doesn't shine. Anyway. They TP'd the trees! The trees! Not the trees! Ultra! Ultra combo! Whatever, I, I can't do that voice. Anyway, this is apparently a secret. I don't know. I think that's a sock down there. Yep. Let's get it. This game gives you a lot of reminders about stuff, like return 10 socks to Patrick for a golden spatula, or you can break tiki's by pressing the X button, as if it really, really doesn't want you to fail. Of course, I really don't want to fail, but I don't have to be reminded all the time. Well, I can't go anywhere if I don't feed the clam. 125 shiny objects, so I might as well. This is a checkpoint. If you were defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of the area. Really? This game really likes to tell me stuff. Anyway, if, like, enemies are in the area and they spot you, then SpongeBob does his little scared face. 
And if you defeat him, he does his little brave thing. He does a little brave pose, like Superman or something. Sorry you couldn't see it because I was fidgeting with the camera, but... It's just a little, like, bonus thing. Because I'm just that nice. I get to show you bonus things. Anyway, this is a freezy fruit thing. And Patrick is the only one who can use it. Because he can throw stuff. And yes, like I said, you get to play as Patrick. Okay, there's nothing up there but underwear, so... I haven't taken a hit yet, so... Yeah. You get to play as other Spongebob characters, but you only get to play as two. You only get to play as Sandy, and you get to play as Patrick. That's not a bad cast of characters to play as. Because I know I'm not going to be able to do anything as Squidward. Sometimes pushing a single button is the most satisfying. Yay. This little victory trumpet. Now we got to jump across the barrels. Yeah, apparently doing the little bubble twirl in midair actually gives you extra time in the air, I guess. Okay, purple ones, let's see how much they're worth. 50. Great. Thought it was 50. No! Taste the bubble. Jellyfish don't give you squat. Which sucks. But whatever. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Meow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. SpongeBob does not have a bungee cord. Guess what he bungees off of? Well, of course, the bungee hook, but... Underwear bungee! Oh my god, look at his eye. I swear. That must be a glitch or something. Okay, well, that's it for that golden spatula. Let us never speak of this again. Except we're going to have to because of... It's pretty frequent in this game. Bunging by your underwear. Apparently Spongebob is wedgie-proof. Falling down a deep pit also, like, brings you back to a checkpoint, so, like... Oh no! Not the ham! That's a large ham! Okay, that was a bad joke. I don't know. Wasn't even a joke. I think if you go on, like, freaking TV tropes, you would understand it, but whatever. They attack early, so you just gotta dodge them and then hit them. They're not that hard. Okay. Sidetracking, just so I can get some more shiny things. So I can pay Mr. Krabs to get... A freaking spatula because nobody in any of these games is ever helpful to you ever. <laughs> Hammer. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, and by the way, he repeats this every time you see one in the first area. Well. Okay, you need to learn how to use the bubble bowl. This game really 
doesn't, like, try to even freaking hide extra moves and stuff. It just tells you, you need to learn this to do this. Instead of saying, you need to learn a secret move in order to do this. It's just like, you need to learn the Bubble Bowl. Which is one of the weirdest attacks in ever, any game ever, but still. Break some more tiki's. There we go. Okay, I already know I can't swim in goo. Like I said, reminders all the time. This game is so helpful that it isn't. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Suspended over a pit of death. Uh, okay, I did it. Good. We will never do that again, children. There are safer ways to obtain shiny objects. Okay, I think there's a thing on the top of that rock over there. So we're gonna bounce to it. Yeah! Air time! Okay, oh, it's just a sock. I thought it was like a spatula or something. But no, this game wouldn't be that good to me. Come on. Let's go over here now. Which is sort of a secret area, which has another sock. Man, I'll have all the socks in no time. I'm just kidding. I don't know where any of the socks are in this game. Some of the socks are completely random. You have to, like, destroy certain tiki's and roll to get certain socks. I don't know. So that's why I'm probably not going to be able to collect all of the socks. But I'll try to collect as much crap as possible. Time to move on to jellyfish field. Imagine that. A tilting bridge tilts because a sponge jumps onto it. Uh, D-1000 will continue to create robots until it is destroyed. Careful, it goes out with a bang. So yeah, don't go anywhere near it when it goes off. Super Mega Combo! Oh, and it gives you lots of shiny things, apparently. Whatever. That's the first level. Well, not really. There's still more to the levels. The levels are actually really large in this game. Let's go to the jellyfish caves. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? Oh, yeah, um, they didn't even get the voice actor for Mermaid Man either. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. Miss... By clipping oh. my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! This is a slide. When SpongeBob Patrick and Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the boat. Blah, 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 blah. Hydrodynamic speeds. Yeah! It's so fast, it's so hydrodynamic. The music's kind of cool, though. Oh, I missed a secret. Can I jump off the map? That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Yeah. Usually when you, you jump into goo, you like he goes out and he jumps out but I didn't have any place to land so 
I died. We're going to the right this time. There's a secret area over here. Give me a sock, maybe, I think. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a box here. I didn't have to kill myself. Doesn't matter. You have an infinite lives, so... Whatever. <laughs> Epic music. That I can't listen it to... I can't listen to it because of the freaking audio being bugged up while I'm recording. I'll get a chance to listen to it after the freaking recording. Nothing really special about this area, it's just a bunch of running and jumping and platforming. This is actually a really good game for a licensed game. So is Spongebob the movie, but it's not as good as this, in my opinion. Yeah, it's like workout music. Oh, it stopped right when I could hear it too. Oh well, you'll get a chance to hear it. Metaphorically speaking, you probably already got a chance to hear it because you were watching my hey, video. SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Now we're playing as Patrick! He's, uh, not really that different from Spongebob. Whatever. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, Patrick! Except he can belly flop, which is... Uh, and he can pick up fruit, like this. I think it's B. Yeah. We gotta throw it at that sign right there. I think if you do that enough times, he says something funny. Oh yeah, you can also pick up tiki's. Oops, probably should have. This is a bus stop. You can switch between characters. In each level, you can only play as either Patrick or Sandy. You can't play as both in the same level. So we'll get to Sandy soon. After this level, probably. Anyway, these are random NPCs, if you didn't know that. You can bump into them and do funny things, like, n you knock them down. It's cruelty, but it's so much fun. Can I... Can I... Can I throw it onto the switch? Apparently not, I have to throw it up there first. That was lucky. I think I almost threw it off. I can't pick it up! Okay, whatever. Oh, and it wilts after you throw it. So, you gotta be careful. And you gotta be quick. You can't really carry it with you throughout the level. Alright, this is a teeter totter. Yay! Just go right here, you have place the fruit on the other side, and. Whee! Okay, we gotta get the shiny thing. We gotta get every shiny thing in the level. Oh. They explode. Oops, I probably should have thrown those tiki's instead of that one. Hey yo! 
your barnacle head? Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. <laughs> Heed my words, my lord. Patrick is so minion. funny in this game. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. <laughs> well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low quality design and knock off wallets. Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, this game. Okay, we can do the big belly flop attack. Thunder flop. Oh, yeah, sometimes Patrick looks at the camera when he does an idle animation. Anyway, we're in a cave now, apparently. With volcanoes underwater. How does this work? How does this work? So shiny. I'll tell you how it does it, you see? This is a game, don't take it so seriously. We'll jump up here and see if we can cause a chain reaction over here. Of course, I could have just picked up the fruit. Whatever. We'll try it again. With the fruit. Uh... Yeah, the aiming's a little fidgety. Yeah! I'll teach those stupid switches. What the heck is this? Okay, whatever. I got out of it without a scratch, so I'm good. Aside from that time I deliberately killed myself, I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh my god, what do I do here? Probably get a... Probably get a sock for doing this, I don't know. Maybe if I'd stop throwing it into the water. Can I throw it on the second one? No, I can't. Because Patrick's retarded. Oh my god, what are you doing? There we there we go, barely. I don't think I can pick it up though. Nope. Oh wait! Yes! 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 And it gives me nothing. Whatever. I feel accomplished. Oh, that's much better. Ouch. Ow. My my underwear is my power source. Well, so much for not taking a hit. Oh. 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 Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Okay, we gotta... Come on, don't die, don't die. Gotta get to the checkpoint wherever the chain, wherever the checkpoint is. Russia plates. That works. Go, go, go. Victory trumpet. Could just call these things watermelons. But no, they're the mysterious throw fruit of Madagascar. Oh my god! SpongeBob takes place in Madagascar! Okay. How did I miss that sock? Oh, whatever. We're getting it. Come on, get up there! Get up there! Yes! Yeah! 
it's on the slide. Let's see if breaking all the tiki's gets me anything. Well, probably not because I missed one. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. So anyway, we have freezy fruit. Freezes the water. We're gonna collect all the cool stuff. Oh crap, there's a sock. Gotta get it! Oh, I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! Oh, holy crap, that was close. Anyway, let's mess around with this guy. Yeah. Hot Patrick on fish action. Is there anything wrong with this scene? Yes, there are so many things wrong with this scene. <laughs> Ow. Patrick can also use the throw fruit to defeat robots and make him a sandwich. Well, you know what? Screw the robots. Screw the throw fruit. I'm just gonna do this. Oh god. But how do I stun the robot? Oh. Yeah. Alright, I don't take any damage while I'm picking up a spatula. That's good. Okay, I have about ten more minutes. Ow. I should get done with this level by then. Unless something goes horribly wrong, which probably will, but who knows.